Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Late Night Tavern with you know me, him, my sister, my sister here. She's just here to show off the merch. Same shit, same shit. All right, all right. Wait, before we start though, check this out. Check this out, guys. I want to see if you guys can hear this. Hold up, hold up. You look so sketchy right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, then just come back through this way. You can come back through over here. It don't matter. All right. Hold up, guys. We're doing a Q&A. With, we got a couple questions from at least, like, a we got a we got a grip of questions a, from like a couple it means forty five. <laughs> yeah, it's forty five or some amount of questions from at least what twelve people. Uh huh. So we're going to start this business. Oops. Yes, sir. And this is these right here. These are coins. <laughs> they got a purpose for something. They need yeah. to be really good. If you get a coin, uh, your question was good. If you don't get a coin, your question wasn't that good. I'm not talking shit. I'm the same. I'm saying like there's there's like one question. I, oh, I don't mean to grab that. But there's one question out there that that's not gonna get a coin. That's not to be mean or anything, but whatever. Anyways, so with our first one is from Maria. Favorite artist. Who's your favorite artist? Um, it's probably like it's probably like Avenged Sevenfold or like I don't know. Probably like Breaking Benjamin or some shit. I think everybody knows what mine is. And if you don't, it's the weekend. Bad Bunny. Oh. Next question. Favorite food. Um steak. Steak. <laughs> Steak's okay. pretty sweet. Should we include Andres's question? Yeah, that, that, okay, that, so yeah. Andres's question is related to Maria's question. They're both the same questions, and it's favorite album of all time. Check my uh, put put up a picture of whatever he says. Okay, mine is mine is Kiss Land from the weekend. It's not gonna be up there. It's probably gonna be like right here. Yeah, it, it, wherever it's at, it's gonna be somewhere. But okay, so what's then yours? put the white, either the white album of Avenged Sevenfold or the Phobia one for Breaking Boonjamin. Okay. Thank you for your questions. Here's you get two coins. Me. Okay, so next question from Ali. First time getting drunk. Um, honestly, when I was five, um, well, I think the last time I remember getting really drunk, drunk was probably New Year's, probably two years ago. Remember we went to, we went to that party mm -hmm. and this guy was there. He saw me all like that. I was hiccuping. I was like, Ugh. yeah, that's funny. He go, <laughs> I, I kind of regret telling him to delete the video, yeah. but he deleted the video. Man. Yeah, because he was like, delete it, delete it. I wish I didn't. I don't know why I told him to delete it. <sighs> Do you have a time of ever getting drunk? No. All right, so. Coin. Okay, so from my sister. Oh, oh fuck. My bad, bro. My bad. Uh -huh. I didn't have the TikTok pulled up, but I will find it at the end of this. I'll find one, too. Yeah. It's saying, what's your favorite TikTok? We'll put that at the end of the video. Check this out. Or we'll put it at this point. It's right here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. It's but probably going to cover the whole screen. Yeah. If her name starts with an E, she probably wants the two. This, that's our favorite one. Did you like it? Where do you guys think you'll be in five years? And do you think you'll still be close? Um, in five years, I don't know what the hell I'll be doing. I'm hopefully having like, I'm getting like that bread, like that bread, bread. And there's probably some money too. That'd be good. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So would we still be close in five years? I, I would imagine so. Oh well, yeah. I mean, if, unless he like drops communication with me entirely. He's literally the only person I really talk to. So it's, that is facts. And he's like the only person I like message first. Do you get me? <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, I'm, I'm. And then in five years, I'm going to be like Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know? I don't know. I'll probably do, like, have a job, like, doing what I'm wanting to do or 
you know, doing something like this still. Who knows? I don't it know might be long. better in five years if we're still doing it in five years. Yeah, or it could be like trash. I uh, will still have like, we'll hey barely guys. have like our hundred subscribers. Like, bloggers. Okay. And I'm like 25. Okay, next. Whoa. Let me, okay, let me see. Let me see. Um, okay, let's answer. We'll, we'll answer yours fully. Okay, say. Will this will this be your last videos? Our last video, like together. No. Um, together, no. It's just we're gonna be. I'm moving. Yes. And so, the videos in person are not gonna be as common at the moment. They'll probably happen like say like in another two months, maybe in two months they'll probably start doing them again. We'll probably be like, oh, we'll like film like five fucking like IRL videos like right now and this day right here, and we're like, yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, we'll take like start at six a.m. end at like twelve. Yeah, but right. the the ow fuck, I keep hitting my damn hand. The ah! oh fuck, oh wait, no, wait, we're not done with yours yet. Okay, well, we'll most likely still be like streaming together and doing like other videos like that. And if I could somehow get his face in the streams at least, then technically it'll be the same thing. I'm pretty sure if I get a job, I'll be able to get like something and be like, oh, and you can see my fucking face. He's an ugly mug. Fuck. Okay, so. What is your favorite song and album from the weekend? Favorite album's Kiss Slam, but my favorite song is Heartless. Well, it's Heartless and Life of the Party, but it's it's Life of the Party, actually. Heartless is pretty close second, but that's that's what it is. I'm know. not super into it like this man, but I do like it. And I would probably say after I was the album. That's probably because I listened to that the most. And the song was probably like repeat after me. That one's pretty banger. That's a pogs right there. All right. How old is Biscuit? He's nine. Okay. Next question. Okay. So from Michaela, if you had two days to live, what would you do? What would you do? <laughs> well, uh, I would break into a zoo and uh, steal a giraffe. <laughs> and then I'd ride on to do whatever I'm about to do on a giraffe. <laughs> Just go through like... New York, I'm like on a giraffe, and they're like, stop that man with the giraffe. And I'm like, fuck you, bro. Hey, you better stop. The fuck? Okay. Um, I think, uh, well, I don't know. Did they kill a guy? <laughs> I feel like if I only had two days to live and I could do whatever I want without there being any consequences to it, I'd probably kill someone. <laughs> Say the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying like, if like if, I, if, if only that was the choice. If I couldn't get in trouble for what the fuck I was going to do. Then I would kill someone. I'd kill like a bad guy or something. Yeah, kill, like, kill like a criminal. Like, kill like a criminal. I'm not gonna kill some dudes like hardworking dad or some <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, some like some criminal, some bum. He's like, oh, I'm just picking up a happy meal for my kids. And I'm like, die. I'll do that and go on a hot air balloon piece. That's like one of my things on my bucket list. No, you know how like in war zone people like drop helicopters to people. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, that. okay. Our next one from her is favorite movie and why. Monster House. Monster House and Day of the Dead, the old one. My favorite movies. I know there's two of them, but one's a zombie movie and one's the movie where clip, clip, if we could put the clip in here, mm-hmm. it would be cool where he just goes up and goes. Yeah. <laughs> or he, <laughs> he runs, goes, and then he goes. He fucking starts eating. Or the thing where his head gets hit by the basketball. Uh, yeah. Either one of those two are like. Could be in there. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. Probably like Spider-Man. Like one of the Spider-Man movies. <clears throat> it's just, you know, Spider-Man. That's probably the ones I've watched the most as a kid. You get a coin, Michaela. Okay, so. From Adhan. We only have one question from Adhan because most of his were stupid. <laughs> or he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> or he didn't give a fuck. I don't fuck you. Okay, so. What does late night tavern stand for? That's a good question because I don't even know. I think if it if it's more like what is it we like what do we stand for it? Or is With that thugs? That's what I think I think for. I don't think we really have a meaning for it yet. I think it's just more something like it's like oh it's a name. It's just a name at the moment. We really haven't established like a stance for us. That's the best I could give you on that. So you get. I'll give you a fucking coin. I guess so, You can bitch. buy it in half. <laughs> you get it. A- Wait. 
You get a half <laughs> coin for that shit. Yeah. Okay, so next question. From Pablo. Why did you start the podcast? Um, His name begins with a D. <laughs> it ends with an N. And yeah. he's not here right now. Well, I guess because we could have we could have entirely started this whole thing not by the podcast. We could have started it from something else. Yeah, we started gaming. Honestly, I th- I think if we had the equipment for gaming, we probably would have started with the gaming. Maybe I don't know. Um, but you know, we were I, one of those old ass podcasts. You know, we said why we even did it to begin with because Day Run from Staples. It was from yeah because Darren, but like no no shade or nothing. But I'm just saying like. Now, like, I mean, we we don't even do podcasts no more. It's just like we do them like every once in a blue moon now. And it's like, what the fuck? Okay, so why did we start? Oh, yeah. We don't. Yeah, we don't do the podcast that often. I, I think we don't do it mostly because I, I kind of don't like having an audio only thing. But the recording thing is kind of impossible to do soon. But I mean, if, you know, if I see, I've seen this a lot. People keep asking me a lot about the podcast. So it seems like something that people want. Um, so, I mean, we could do it and, you know, at some point, I, you know, how we did it on discord those few times, it wouldn't be like that anymore. It would, it would be like how we do the streams, but it would just, you know, have we could either no do image. that or we could either like do it. Like if I ever come back down, we could be like, Oh, well, how was your fucking time up there? Yeah. Or, fucking dumb. Or, you know, we can do like. Base camps. Okay, so next question from him is, where did the idea come from, Darren? Darren was the one that kind of thought of the idea. At first, I was not down with it. This was like, what, maybe like four months? This was like, what, like... Almost a year before? Almost a year before we thought, oh, well... We completed anything? We, we thought about doing it. I think it was like October of 2019 or something. Something like that. So, like, at first, like, I wasn't really down with that. I was like, this, is, this sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> And then like, you guys are all like, oh, fuck, yeah, we could do that. But now I'm doing it, and I'm like, it was fun. It's fun. It's fun every now and then. Sometimes I'm like, man, <laughs> sus. Anyways, you got a coin for that. You got a coin for the question. So next question from the boy, Carlos. Your favorite shoe brand and why? Mine would probably be Skechers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck yeah, mine would, them twinkle toes, the mine little, would like, probably be do. Converse and fucking whenever I get Tim's. I'm going to say Nikes. These Nikes are just pretty much just comfortable like all the time. But then we got to think about this. If we're coming from, if we're talking to Carlos, Carlos was probably thinking you're going to wear like some like fucking like high tops, some like fucking like Air Force Ones and shit. Like tennis shoes. The Nike tennis shoes. Yeah. That's what he wears. See, that's the. I was about br- to take them off, but that them, was the type he likes. The tennis shoes. Them bitches are comfy. Not the high tops. Not the big baller brand. And they're fun. They make you run faster. <laughs> Statistically proven. Want to see me do it again? Oh wait, no. Never mind. We're not even done with your questions. What would be the first thing you? The first dumb thing you would buy as a millionaire? I feel like I would waste like a hundred, a hundred grand, like right away, right away. And it would probably be either on like a car or like. Is that a cat? Yeah. <laughs> Ow! Oh, Ow! <laughs> it's like right there. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right. So the first dumb thing I would probably buy would be a car, but like it would be like a car, but like modded the fuck out. Or like a. <laughs> I buy like not? a I buy like a shark launcher. I buy a shark. Probably a shark. Keep it in your living room. It would probably be a car, but I would soup it the fuck out. Like I would probably get like some bum ass looking car and be like, oh, I'm a I'm a fucking pimp my ride out like crazy as fuck. Uh, you can put this picture up because there's an actual item. Uh, it's not mad expensive, but I feel like it's kind of redonkulous to just buy flat out. It's a sinister gates. <laughs> custom shop fucking like dark whatever the fuck it's called but it's like three thousand dollars right and like that's kind of a lot of money compared to my put up the picture of mine which is a thousand 
250 and then the 3000 one that yes sir i'd buy all three of the variants or whatever the fuck so that's like nine thousand dollars not as much as what i would spend but you know that's still it's still something a car and then wood so you you can judge those prices a fucking one hundred thousand dollar car a three thousand dollar guitar you do the math all right next one are you more afraid of the ocean or space I think in that sense, I think I'm not afraid of either, but like if I had to be afraid of one of them, I think I'd probably say the ocean because you could get eaten by a shark. Oh, yeah, Godzilla does. Oh, yeah, you could get eaten by Godzilla in the water, but I'm not afraid of the water, so I don't really. Okay, so sometimes I see space, you know, in the background of videos, and I'm like, damn, that looks kind of like everything's fucking massive compared to you. You're insignificant. You're dog shit compared to fucking Jupiter. If you were next to Jupiter, you're like nothing. You're like, but wow. If if you're in the ocean, like, you can't see anything, and you fucking know that there's shit all around you. Yeah, there could be, like, a dude in a scuba, like, diving outfit, and he's just, like, tickling he's your com- ass. He's coming by with, like, a fucking knife. He's like, <laughs> and then there could you. be a shark coming from this way, and a whale, and then, like, a skeleton just chilling right there. And he's then the Kraken. <laughs> And then Godzilla, yeah, of course. And so monk. I think Carlos deserves. I think Carlos deserves three coins. Cool, cool. Okay, so next question, Ruben. Ruben, what two genres of music would you mix if you were a musician? So, like, okay, in that sense, would it be like two different genres and you just like a fusion sort of thing? Uh, you can answer that one first. Mm, probably like, not like. Super metal, you know, like where people kind of think it's all like yeah and shit like that, but like the kind where it's like cool, like solo shit, and then like pop music, that's more like the weekend type music. Now, well, I guess that's it's R and B, whatever the fuck, alternative R and B. So you would take something like that since it's like calm, but then you have like the cool guitar sounds instead of putting like that cool shit in like a Bruno Mars song, <laughs> like it's a baby song. <laughs> okay, so mine's kind of funny. I think mine would be I don't listen to country music, but I think I think it would be funny if these two were mixed together. If you were making it? Yeah. If it was mixed together. I think R and B and country music. I thought you were about to say reggae and country music. I think R and B R and B and country music would be a kind of a piece it'll be like talking about your tractors and if your fucking sister your or some shit. <laughs> and being like, Oh, like but being like, oh, the, the music's all like, boom, <laughs> boom, and you're like, take a ride on my tractor. <laughs> I'm finna fuck that pig. <laughs> 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 it sounds cool. So, okay, I'm not, not going to give you a coin yet. Let me see what the next question is, because <laughs> that one kind of fucked me up when I read it. Okay, so, if you were to, okay, no, no, not this next one, the, the last one of yours. If you were to create a planet, what would you put on it? Big booty bitch. Water, <laughs> trees, and fucking animals. Some goldfish? Like, not the fish, like the snack. Well, <laughs> who the fuck's gonna be like, oh, goldfish? You're like, yeah, everybody knows that. No, fucking like, goldfish. imagine they're like, we just discovered a new planet. Like, what's on it? Fucking crap or whatever the fuck, goldfish. And then they're like, that's crazy. I think, honestly, like, yeah. I'll just make it into, like, another Earth, but, like, take. Take out like dumb shit, like the desert. <laughs> and, like if you can make it your own, like you could take out. I would take out the oh, dumb yeah. people. I take about take out the idiots, like the people like, like someone that could be out there and be like, "Hey, what's up?" Like that, and then they talk to me funny. I'm like, "Oh, and rice cakes. I would want them gone." Rice cakes. You, you have just... a rice cake before? No. Rice cakes don't even <laughs> seem that shit. Rice cakes don't even seem that bad. It's just a like, thing. The rice most and the dry just... shit more than like your DMs. I don't know, bro. I think I think it's more of like a sense where like, I you know what. I really feel like I can't, I could like argue back with the whole rice cake thing about it being dry because I'm the type of motherfucker that gets this like the ramen, the dry ramen just gets out of the fucking pack and you just go. Or you're like at a movie theater and you're like. <laughs> I'll put the fucking, I'll put the fucking seasoning in it and mix it around and be like, oh, that shit was fucking bomb. So. No, that's kind I of, would that's have kind of a different dry. I would have, I would have like a store that's like a lifetime, a lifetime supply of like ramen in it. I'm not saying Robin's like fucking hits all the time, but I'm saying like, I feel like literally, I feel like literally everybody could fucking eat ramen and be happy with it. 
Okay, so that's what we do. Okay, so your next question is, if something were to change in your life at this moment, what would it be? Was that the question that I had a difficult time or was well, it? Well, I don't know. That top one was really weird worded Okay, yeah, too. okay, yeah. That first question, Ruben, when you text it to me, no offense, but that shit was the most difficult thing to fucking read. You're still my best friend and everything, but like that shit was so <laughs> difficult to fucking read, dude. <laughs> okay, but if if you were to change something in your life at this moment, what would it be? Probably uh the living area and the financial status. Not like it's like terrible, but it's just like who wouldn't want to live in like a nicer spot. That's have basically some, the same thing with me. I and think. have two coins instead of fucking one. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you rather have this many coins or would you rather have this many coins? Or have that. That's like less the value of this. Yeah, it's literally okay. half that. Okay, so I mine would be the same thing. It would be like living situation and financial. So Ruben, I'll give I'll be nice. I'll give you two coins. Two coins. And the amount of coins I give you does not really fucking matter. So don't fucking take it that way. It doesn't matter. You're just getting coins. I'm just like randomly picking coins. Yep. So if you got one coin, it doesn't matter. You're still amazing. Okay, so oh gosh, let's see. Okay. From Sergio, we're gonna do three of your questions because fuck it. Are you guys gonna finish a series of for a game? Probably not anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so it's a lot harder to do now since um, <clears throat> since he's bailing. We could do like things that are like from across the pond, you know, and finish things that way, but it might be weird. So it might have to be me on streams to finish certain things. I'll probably be there at some point and be like that, but I'll probably just hop in there real quick and be like you so bitch. If I can, like this dip. if I can find a way to like have him also be there at the same time and just watch it, then you know we'll do that. But if not, then no. <laughs> so yeah, we Resident Evil. Are we ever gonna finish it? I don't know. I don't think so. If I can find yeah, if I can find a way to like screen share it to him where he's at, then I could probably I don't know. I would say like oh I could watch it live, but at the same time I would hear myself and then repeated myself hard over. Yeah, you'll hear a, a delay. Kind of fucking stupid. All right, so next one is, any ideas for collabs? No, not at the moment. No. Not at the moment. Do you plan on live streaming more on Twitch or YouTube? Probably YouTube, or probably both. Probably yeah. YouTube. It's Pe- probably YouTube. Because but Twitch is a little a little too sensitive. So yeah, Twitch can be sensitive and stuff, but... I mean, we're not saying we're not going to be dropping bombs all over the place, but... Every, but, you know, we, we fuck up sometimes. If, if, if I call someone a fat bitch, then, you know, they could report me for calling someone a fat bitch. And Without, then, you know... Um, and I was like, but Twitch, um, I mean, I, Twitch is like another spot to gain followers from, but if we already have a bunch of people, if we already have like a group of people on YouTube and since Twitch isn't something that's universal to everybody, they might not make an account to go over there. And so, YouTube is kind of universal for everybody. Like even like your grandma probably has YouTube. <laughs> okay. So hold up. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is McGriddle, question mark. I don't understand the content, the content of that que- concept of the question. My bad. I, I guess they're good. They're McGriddles good. are fucking awesome. Okay, they're, I've only you, had one. Let ever me tell in my you, if life. you get the sausage one, you're fucking weird. Okay, next question. How big is that dick? The fans, fans want to know. know. I'm not gonna answer that. All I'm gonna say is yes. Tell me when to stop. Hold on, buddy. We're going for a while here. Bro, dude. Uh? <laughs> Sheesh! Anyways, okay, well, okay, we'll answer yours fully, okay? Fuck it. Fuck it. More real life stuff when I get back. Anytime, whenever okay, I'm back. This out. When this video comes out, there should be another real life video after this one. So, after this, there should be. But these but, last two are pretty much the last ones at the moment. But after that? Whenever I come back down, unless I start fucking vlogging by myself like a sad ass bitch. Coin. <laughs> All right, so okay. shut the fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I gotta turn that off, guys. Sorry about that. Um, what are you? What is your guys is oh, from Andres? Sorry, I don't know if I said that already. Did I say that already? No. Either from Andres. Hold up. 
These what, shits are stinky. What is your guys' favorite bread and why? I don't fucking know. Check it's this out. Italian. Ah, boy, here we go. Shut the fuck up. Check this out. The ones from Texas Roadhouse, them butter bitches, awesome. I literally found out what the ones at Outback are called. Forgot what they're called now. Those ones, fucking awesome. Potato bread's kind of cool. Uh, butter bread's pretty baller, too. I think bread is bread, honestly. The, the only bread I'm super interested in trying is that cloud bread. Or you, like that, you just go like that and you just bust it open. And it's like super soft. That shit looks cool as fuck. And if you bite into it, it's just fluff. It's like, wow. Uh, <laughs> would we play any fighting games on the channel? Um, <laughs> I mean, that's easier to do because they're most likely online. So, like, if we get like Mortal Kombat 11, then. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting it, but I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> Me too. I don't. That's like a game that. I, even though it's usually cheap, I don't want to Because at this point, it's either we could get, oh, we could get the base Mortal Kombat, or we could get the... Actually, I think Injustice 2 is on the Game Pass, so... But it's Injustice, I'm so gonna it's not... I'm going to get my ass kicked. So it's, it's not Mortal Kombat. Matter. Why the fuck would you watch it? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the point with all these, like, challenge <laughs> games. <laughs> okay, so let's pick another one. Let's pick another one. Let's see. Would you ever want to have a big group multiplayer game for the channel? For like for at least like a lot of people to be involved with it, I guess yeah. At one point yeah, because we do stream with other people, but it's like usually one person at most. Well, we've had a thing where we streamed with two other people at the same time, but you know, it's a fucking war zone. You gotta you gotta just make sure that everyone's like, you know, in a situation where they're not gonna have a bunch of background noise and all that. You know, games like Among Us, I guess, are possible. Warzone like quads and if you mean like group multiplayer games the only thing that came to mind at first was like a minecraft server world thing but i don't i don't know i don't know about that one the discord chat's gonna be disgustingly loud yeah <laughs> would you rather chug a full gallon of pickle juice or eat 10 scoops of mayonnaise i'm pickle down juice. pickle juice i'm down in pickle juice i don't care you get a coin cool okay so from frank if you were to change anything about Douglas, how would you have it? I guess um, add more business. Yeah. Add more business. Add some stores. That's it. Uh, fix up the fucking houses and the roads. <laughs> what is a true friend? The kind of guy that you can bust a load on and he just doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> I not, think. I think. I think the type of... Oh man. Okay. I think I I think what makes a true friend is probably someone that could make you laugh and therefore you can make them laugh too. If the bond is good, then that's a true friend. If it's like, oh, like I have a good couple laughs from you, but at the same time I fucking hate you, I'm not gonna be your friend. I'm gonna be your acquaintance, not your friend. And then it kinda, you know, goes into the threshold of just like a friend. You're like, you don't really hang out with that person. But when you see them, you're like, oh cool. But if you're, like, at their house all the time. <laughs> okay, so if you had a chance to make a drug, what would the side effects be of it, and how would you take it? Okay, let's answer that one. A Viagra. <laughs> if you had a, Okay, if I had a chance to make a drug, and how would you take it? I think you would smoke the drug, and I think it would be a thing where it would get you, like... But then again, if you say that, it's, like, literally, oh, there's a drug of that. Yeah. So... One that, like, makes one of your butt cheeks inflate. Yeah, if there's a drug, yeah, like, I think I, I think I would make a drug that like that would literally like inflate your butt, and like it makes you shoot ropes, <laughs> and make you do the Spider Man. Yeah, but either way, I think literally if we came up with anything, there's a drug for it. Yeah, at this point, I don't think anyone's gonna start innovating. Frank, you get a you get a coin. Okay, so. Um, okay, so those are the last ones, right? Should be you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, from Henry's cousin. Froggy. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest fear. Um, uh, you can't answer that one first. I'm trying to think up because I had one recently. Well, because like small things, you know, are like spiders because, you know. Those but are, like, I think more like, like in average. a sense, like something like that make you shit your pants. Like, it was yeah. that fucking scary. Yeah, that's what I'm you trying to think You can't say too. like a spider because if a spider's tuning at you, you won't shit your pants. Well, if me. there was like one like the size of the pool table, I think I'd well, probably fuck shit, up. I'd probably <laughs> piss shit and call. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I think my biggest fear would probably be 
getting eaten or something? No, I think <laughs> it would be in the sense of like experiencing like being in a car crash. I think like in like a pretty bad one. I think anything that in, it's not even that. I think anything that involves a lot of adrenaline and that could kill you in that instant scares me. Some kind of accident that could like impair you for the rest of your life. Yeah, I think I think just the the fact that if you have to like go through a lot of adrenaline for this and like you could die from it, I think that's the scariest thing. I can't really say a, a, exactly when what. it happens. It happens. I can't like I could say like oh if I got in a car accident I could say oh that was scary as fuck. But like it's more of a thing where like oh the adrenaline is the the fact that you know you might die. I think that's scary. Mm-hmm. The fact of, okay, I think it's just it's dying. Dying <laughs> is scary. Dying is scary. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, that was a good question. Okay, so the next one is favorite memory with each other. I don't know. There's been a lot of funny ones. There's yeah, that, <laughs> that, if, if there was like legit like one point, then like I don't, I don't think we'd be laughing with each other anymore. I feel like our, f- probably, I don't know. I think like every time we hang out is literally like, oh, we've always remembered that shit. We remember that shit for a month and we stop talking about it. And then like after that, we come up with something new. We're, we're like memes. Like when we hang out, it's like memes. It's like Uganda Knuckles, funny. Chungus, funny. Fucking the baby, whatever the fuck. Bingus. Long dick style. <laughs> Anything. Uh, fucking Jared. I don't Jared know what Fogel. That, I don't know what that is, but you get a coin. You get a coin. All right, and for our last person, we have Skyler. When did you guys start the channel? Um, June, June 2020. June? Yeah, June, June 2020. I think it was June 14th, I think. Sometime in June, mid-June. Put up the date for the first podcast. You like that shit? <laughs> why did you guys want to do a show together? I don't know why that was fucking bothering me for a second. I was like, what the fuck? Why did we want to do a show together? It makes sense, doesn't it? We're Does literally it we're literally both like over here like, oh bro, that was funny as fuck, and then everybody's like, Oh, these guys are like these guys are like are together because think, think about it like this. Anytime me I would post something on Snapchat, it would be like a funny thing that me and him were doing. And then people were like, Oh man, that shit was funny. Like you guys should like like do something with that and then we're doing something with that. That's basically what it is, except most of the time we're just uh sitting down. Not touching each other's huevos. Or beat those. Or binguses. None of that foo-foo shit. I, I swing like this. That's not the right way. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, look at you. Okay, that was straight. Okay, so the and last the question from Skylar. How long would you survive in a zombie apocalypse? Not long, dude. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Weirdly enough, I feel like I have like my ADHD will probably kick in. I'll be like, go psycho on someone. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Well, maybe, you know, it might be that kind of situation. I probably might impress myself and eat a guy's fucking face off just because. I think. And become king of, like, the, the Wahookans. Weirdly enough, I think I'll be able to survive it for, like, a decent amount of time. But, like, I feel like the, uh, there might be a time where I might, like, fuck up pretty bad. I'll be like, there, I'll break my ankle and be like, or do something like like play a clip of him like getting fucked up in Warzone like something stupid yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like I'll like opens a door. A zombie will come through like that with like a twelve gauge like that and he fucking shoot. He's me. got the doof doof. <laughs> he comes in with like like a, like a seven two five, blasted mirror in the fucking dome. Let's get a thirty two f- long shot. Boop. Fucking not funny. So yeah, I think I think I probably survive a decent amount of time, but not forever, because I will die at some point. But you know what? Especially since it'll be an apocalypse. So that is all the questions. That concludes the questions. Thank you for the questions. Yes, sir. Um, oh! It's technically like a podcast. Yeah. Okay, so we got yeah, one question. I think I think we got one question that everybody's literally answered us, and we have to answer Asked it. Us. What? Asked us. What did I say? Answered us. Is that what I said? Everybody's literally answered us. God, I'm fucking... We God, have a question gone. that everybody <laughs> has asked us, and it is, how did you two meet? Well, okay, you can explain your side. I'll explain my side. I want to hear your side okay, first. Okay, my side, I guess <laughs> it was seventh grade. Sometime, I well, what what I from what I remember, it was sometime in, actually, I don't fucking remember. December or January. It was sometime in January, I think, of in seventh grade. Which is 20. 
15 or 16? 16? Six, no, 15. Okay. Well, it's the year. Yeah, it was 26. No. No, it was 20. I don't fucking know. Okay. It, was, it was from 2015 to 2016. That Those two years right so there. So it was 2016. But that was, that was seventh grade. Yeah, so it was 16. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Seventh grade, seventh grade. That's all you had to fucking know. Anyways, my side of it, I one day I was just right there just in in a math class, in a pedophile's math class, right? A chomo's A chomo's. <laughs> a chomo's class. And so it's like a cholo but for kids. One day I was just sitting there and I was like, man, fuck school like that. And like this this weirdo came in class that this fucking nerd looking dude came in like that and I was like the fuck is this dude? I was like, I was Damn, like, he cute as fuck. As soon as he sat down, right? like, I was like, it's good enough. I, w- I was more like, I was like, I looked at him. I was like, I feel like I could be friends with that guy. Why? Because I, I have a weird, weirdly enough, I think I am good at making friends because I'm, I think I'm a very social person. Not, not okay. I'm a person that likes to talk to other people, but like, mm-hmm. you know, like that's why I, I think I have so many friends, but the thing is, I saw this dude, and I was like, oh. And I think the only thing that w- I told you about first so we could kind of bond was like, hey, do you like zombies? I told you something. It was like, oh, I was like, oh, remember you, sh- you played that map and this and that? And I remember we just started talking about video games. And then, like, at some point, you started telling me, you're like, oh, I'm related to this person. I'm like, no way. I'm fucking related to that person. like that. And then I was like, and then we kind of just started. You're like, not related to that person. Not really. Not really, but, you know. No, it was I my, know the person. My mom saw him at my relative's house, and she was like, "What the fuck?" She was like, "Oh yeah, he was just here a little while ago." And I was like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Okay, but then I think the one fun memory I have about you is I've never heard it since then. Huh. I remember we hung out in seventh grade. You know, it was like when we were at school. And I was like, "Bro, can you do any funny accents?" <laughs> like that, and then you did an Italian one, and I thought. Like a like a mob like a mobster sort of one. I thought that was like the most funniest shit. And I, was like, I remember that. We don't talk about that a lot. Yeah, and then like the thing is like whenever I tell him to do it, it doesn't happen. Like it can't happen. It was funny as fuck because like it was so funny at the time. But like every time I'm like, can you do it? And he's like, no, not the anymore. Quite you I'm like, okay. So yeah, I think that's how I remember us meeting at first. Like I thought this guy was cool, and I was like, oh, you you play zombies? You play games like that? And he's like, fuck yeah. So check it out. Here's the here's the funny thing. This is Marco side of the coin. It's all nice. Mine's the the wordy, uh, fucking <laughs> racist looking side. I'm just kidding. Um, so I didn't speak to him. I just saw him, and every time I saw him, I was like, "Ew." I I, was, I I had like this weird hatred for this guy, and then when he started talking to me, I was like, "Okay, all right then." But yeah, I didn't I didn't fucking like. Him. Uh, I you know I called him some things. <laughs> <laughs> called him a bitch. Uh, an esophagus minus the aso. <laughs> I think I think we literally called each other everything in the book at this point. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't really like him, and then we started hanging out, and then it was like that kind of thing where you know when you're like younger and you like hang out with someone, you usually hang out with them for only like an hour or two after school. It's like that weird shit. It's not like a a grip of time. And then after a while, it kind of just became a hangout. I think weirdly enough, I think. The first time we ever hung out out of school was at your house. Yeah, I think it was because we were, it was it was like when Black Ops Three came out. Zetsubo no Shima. Yeah, was, and I remember that. I was, was like, "Oh, bro, you got that?" And he'd say, "Yeah, bro," and I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I think it was when Destiny Two Taken King came out, or Destiny One Taken King came out, and then I invited him over to my house, and I was like, "Look at this." He's like, "That's just whack," and then he played Zetsubo no Shima. <laughs> that shit was whack too, but. I think after that, then it's like a whole bunch of different memories. There's one memory that me and him both know because this guy almost probably broke his fucking jaw. (laughs) This table right here was not wooden before. It used to be a plastic table. And we hung out. I think this was maybe eighth grade. (laughs) There was this one time we were in here. And I was like, oh, I was like, bro, dude, they're here, whatever. Like, I think my mom or someone was here like that. And like, I was like, fucking, I was like, oh, bro, let's hide or some shit. Like that. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, okay. And like, I started running off over here. And like, I was like, okay. And like, I stopped for a moment. And I, <laughs> I looked at, no, wasn't it? We, we ran, okay, we were in, outside. We ran back inside. And then 
No. I was. Uh, yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, we, we were, were inside. At, and no, no, no. We were outside. Room. Remember? Oh. Because I was like, oh, I saw my car. I saw my mom's car. And I was like, okay, let's run inside the fucking bar and oh. hide. <laughs> so then we fucking ran in here. And I was like, bro, you got to hide somewhere. And then he fucking just dove onto this fucking table right here. <laughs> bro, and I, slammed his fucking chin. I thought it was going to be so funny. I was like, man, I'm going to like roll over. But this bitch was plastic. I snapped the leg. and I He jumped from right there and just literally just... Dolphin dive, yeah, onto I the fucking bo one dolphin <laughs> dive, and I hit my jaw so fucking hard on this concrete floor, and I was like, oh. literally, we record literally everything we do, but like that one, we thing, started recording after that one, that one moment. I think if we ever recorded that, or like if we ever could go back in time and record that, we would. Or the time I ran him over with a golf cart. Yeah, but like. I think that first one's funnier though. Yeah. Like you, you just fucking dived onto it. And I was all looking at you. I was like, yo, like then this shit just broke. And you're like, oh, oh. I was like, no fucking way you just did that. I was like, that was crazy. And then we put the table together and then they found out. That was the most, I think, literally the most funniest experience we've ever had. I mean, there's been a lot of funnier ones, but like that one was like the first one that yeah, I think that kind of kicked off the friendship. We're like, bro, dude, we got to do stupid shit all the time now. And then you know what we would do? We would. Bring PlayStation or play as PlayStation Two, or I bring my whole ass like Xbox over here for like the longest time. Yeah, I didn't have a console at the time. Yeah. I didn't have a good console for like. I mean, three a majority years. of the time we were just playing in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, we would go outside and like fifties kids with the whole shit and be like, <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like it's it was funny at the like time. Like eat raccoons and shit. Would be cool shit like that. Be pretty funny. So. If you enjoyed this, thank you very much. And you guys got coins. Like I said, the coins don't matter. So if you're going to be a little piss boy about it, then don't fucking care about don't it. Don't wear a diaper, bitch. It doesn't matter how many fucking coins you got. It's not going to make you better than the other person, okay? you just I was just like, oh, I'll just grab this many coins. I could be like, oh... Wow, you fucking got like five coins. Hey, except the shit. you got half a coin. You got half a coin, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 Why do you always need to like throw up whenever we record something? You're always like, <laughs> it's just the burps. It's just the it's the I heard she squirts. It's the non-alcoholic drink, dude. So check this out. If you wanna, you know, potentially see games get finished, watch me on live streams, and potentially him. And he'll most likely be there if it's for multiplayer things such as GTA, Warzone. Or I could be, it could be a thing where like I could like he could be streaming at some point. And I could just randomly jump into the call and be like, "Hey, what's up? What's going on?" And then you'd be like, "Get the fuck out of my lobby, bro!" If you really want podcasts, the fuck, we could do online podcasts. Yeah, it'd be kind of weird, but I mean, you know, if if you want that, I highly doubt anybody's gonna be like, "Oh, oh I mean, there might be, there might be like that one person that'd be like, "Oh, you should do this," but everybody else doesn't be like, silent silent make your voice heard guys come on it's 2021 <laughs> come on what the fuck's up that's not cool that's not cool that's literally fucking dumb okay yes, sir. sorry i'm yelling so much but anyways if you guys enjoyed this i think we definitely did it was kind of a it was a new thing it was basically a podcast it's probably like the length of a podcast at this point it was cool to grab some questions from people it's kind of dumb to see how many people asked the same question and some only asked. Also, if question. if there's certain questions that we didn't answer, especially some from Maria and Ale, there's reasons why I didn't answer those. We're, I thought I broke a coin. Yeah, see, now you get like a quarter of the coin. My bad, G. Bitch. Anyways, but there were certain questions we didn't answer because... One, I, I don't, I really think we shouldn't have. I, sh I, me, I probably shouldn't have answered. You guys know the answer to most of them, <laughs> those ones. So, yeah. But if you enjoyed this, leave a like. Yeah, dude. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Don't just look at this video for four minutes and be like, wow, and not leave a like. What the fuck's the If you deal? finish the video and you hit the like button. Okay, okay, check this out. Let's do something new right here. Okay. If you watch this video fully, comment Bingus. Yeah. If you made it to the end of the video. I wanna see how legit people are. We'll see yeah. how legit our subscribers are. And if you got the noties on, then you'll know when we go live. Mm -hmm. If you follow the Twitter and the Instagram, 
or if you have us on Snapchat, you'll also know when we go live. Yeah. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this shit. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. 